The Ukrainian armed forces hit the large landing ship Konstantin Olshi Ukrainian armed forces hit the large landing ship Konstantin Olshinsky with a Neptune missile. Ukrainian Navy spokesperson Dmitro Plitinchuk said this. Currently, this ship is not combat capable, Plitinchuk said on national television. He added that a Ukrainian-made Neptune anti-ship missile was used for this, Ukraine, which still controls several hundred kilometers of Black Sea coastline despite Russian occupation of some of its southern regions, does not have any large warships however, it has conducted a series of successful strikes on Russia's Black Sea fleet in recent months using missiles or seaborne drones, there was no immediate comment from Russia. Russia took the Konstantin Olshinsky from Ukraine, along with most of Kiev's navy, when its troops occupied the Crimean Peninsula in 2014. Pletenchuk said, currently, this ship is not combat capable. There was no immediate comment from Russia. Russia took the Konstantin Olshinsky from Ukraine, along with most of Kiev's navy, when its troops occupied the Crimean Peninsula in 2014. nine years it was dismantled for parts, and a year ago they decided to restore IT. In addition, the Speaker of the Naval Forces of the Ukrainian Armed Forces confirmed the defeat of the ship Ivan Kurs in Crimea, as for the Ivan Kurs, we can confirm the defeat of reconnaissance equipment in the assault part of the ship. That is, in fact, now he is not ready for combat, he cannot carry out the tasks as intended, said Dmitry Pletenchuk. NATO is encouraging its member nations to stock supplies for World War III. Saber-rattling between NATO and Russia has intensified in the past month, including French President Emmanuel Macron repeating the possibility of sending ground troops to Ukraine. According to Newsweek, Pierre Schill, the commander of France's ground forces, said that it could command a 60,000-strong force in Ukraine and that troops would be ready if called upon with threats from Russia that any intervention in Ukraine could lead to wider global conflict. Some have suggested that NATO is encouraging its member nations to stock supplies for World War III. A March the 20th post on X by commentator Ian Miles Chung that has been viewed 57,000 times said, NATO is now telling people to stock up on supplies in the event that World War III begins tomorrow. Next level fearmongering. You know none of them are actually taking this seriously because the media's only talking about Kate Middleton and European politicians and celebrities aren't even bothering to hunker down and do anything that would even remotely imply that they're thinking about any potential for a conflict with Russia. If they were really so pressed, they'd have started the draft and mobilized production on munitions instead of worrying about carbon taxes and climate change. The post included a video of Admiral Rob Bauer, chair of the NATO military committee in which he said, you need to have water, you need to have a radio on batteries and you need to have a flashlight on batteries to make sure that you can survive the first 36 hours. Things like that, it's simple things. While some of what Bauer said could be interpreted in the manner described by Chung, the context of the conversation should be considered. Bauer's comments were taken from a joint press conference from January the 18th, where he did speak about preparedness, albeit with a little more depth than the truncated clip and social media post provides. Bauer was asked for his reaction to Swedish citizens panic buying radios that don't need electricity, tents and signing up for self-defense forces. The Swedish government had recently warned citizens that war could come to the country, France 24 reported. North Korea prepares to send new missiles with great destructive power to Russia. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un oversaw tests of multiple rocket launcher systems that can deliver nuclear weapons in a drill this week that South Korea said could be a way for Pyongyang to market its newest missiles to Russia. Bloomberg reported this. According to verified information, recently North Korea launched three ballistic missiles, the Kyodo news agency reported, citing the Defense Ministry of Japan. The missiles covered the distance of 350 kilometers at the altitude of up to 50 kilometers. They splashed down not far from the eastern coast of the Korean peninsula, the ministry said North Korea tested super-large multiple rocket launchers in drills aimed at proving the might 
and the real war capabilities of the weapon system, the state's official Korean Central News Agency reported. The drill was aimed at proving the might and the real war capabilities of the weapon system through the sudden maneuvers and salvos of the sub-units of 600mm multiple rocket launchers, raising the combat morale of artillerymen, multiple rocket launchers and checking and enhancing the readiness posture. Korean Central News Agency said it also released pictures of Kim at the event watching six missiles take to the sky and celebrating later with a cigarette in his hand. During the drill, massive shells of super large multiple rocket launchers hit the targets. According to the news agency, Kim expressed great satisfaction over the fact that the artillerymen displayed high mobility and accurate and strong striking power in carrying out their sudden combat mission. There is a good chance that they are a final performance test before exporting to Russia. South Korea's Defense Minister Shin Won-sik told reporters the US, South Korea and others have accused North Korea of sending to Russia its newest nuclear-capable ballistic missiles that are easy to hide, quick to deploy and hard to shoot down.